First, I'd like to take this opportunity to reaffirm my earlier pronouncements about the reported infiltration by front organizations of the leftist underground movement to radicalize and recruit young students in some state colleges and universities. Although this has been their standard strategy for years, I felt responsible to forewarn once again my fellow parents and our students of the serious danger it poses to their future. With all due respect to members of the academe on the heels of the International Observance of World Teachers Day over the weekend, I know that many of them remain faithful to their chosen vocation as role models and educators of the youth. And I firmly believe that the teacher's role in educating our youth is so critical that of second parents to their students. As such, they need to be cautious of the standard practice of the leftist underground movement to exploit academic freedom to infiltrate and radicalize some students to serve wittingly or unwittingly their political ends to undermine, destabilize, or even overthrow the government. Although the strength and capability of its armed wing have been effectively diminished, it is still important to be conscious of its persistent schemes to undermine our country's stability. I submit that academic freedom is important to promote critical thinking in our educational institutions, but it does not give anyone the right to abet, encourage, or violate laws and regulations much more to take advantage of the students' idealism to propagate hatred, violence, and armed struggle against the government. I just hope that patriotism and nationalism that promote values of love, sacrifice, and service to country would be taught more in our schools, especially in colleges and universities. For our part, we have initiated consultations with the Commission on Higher Education and started opening lines of communication with school authorities to help discount the possibility of campus infiltration by extremist groups with their violent ideas. Surely we can learn from each other on how to best deal with this security concern and to try to help each other protect and secure the future of our youth who are considered to be our nation's hope. The police recognize the student activism is a healthy sign of a vibrant democracy which our country now have. But to the extent of taking up arms or inciting to take up arms against government is definitely in conflict with the law that the PNP is duty bound to address with appropriate police response. Nonetheless, I assure you that there will be no police intervention to suppress academic freedom, speech, expression, and other fundamental liberties exercised in our campuses. The PNP remains responsive to the requirements of due process, rule of law, and human rights in all police operations. Let me point out that human rights advocacy is an institutional policy in the Philippine National Police and is deeply rooted in our doctrine systems, and procedures. Continuing education on human rights has been constantly afforded to all 180,000 police personnel through periodic training programs and follow-on seminars while human rights training modules are now incorporated in all PNP mandatory training and specialization courses from recruitment and onwards along the entire career in the police service.